hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to add one to many fields in Odo version 12 so if I go to those sales and if I open the sale order form view you can see the order lines though that is in sale order this order line is a one to many field so let's see how we can add such a one to many field inside our hospital module so if i go to the hospital and then to the appointments here we have already a doctor prescription page let's see how we can add a one to many field inside this doctor prescription page okay so before starting into the coding if i go to the sale order again you can see i have already activated the develop mode so this model is that is you know object sale dot order you can see it here in the pop-up and if i open the lines that is you can see the object is sale dot order line so one to many model and the this model is different so for this purpose first of all we have to define a new model which has to be used inside the one to many line so i will go to the pie charm and then i will take the corresponding model that is this is hospital dot appointment so we are going to add the one to many line inside this model that is appointments model that is hospital dot appointment you can see the model is hospital dot appointment so first of all i have to define a one to many field here so before defining the one to many field i will add the new model to the system so i will copy this class name i'll just copy the class name and I will paste it here. So I will change the class name as hospital appointment lines. I will add an extra lines with that. And also along with the name hospital dot appointment lines. And description as appointment lines. So what I have done is I have created a new class and defined a new model. Now I have to add fields inside that model. That is if I go to the sale order again. Or I will open the sale order in a new tab. Uh, let me open it in a new tab. So if I keep the sale order here inside this tab, you can see inside the one to many field that is order line, you have different field like product description, order quantity, delivery quantity, like that. So this is the model. We have we have created a new model. Now we have to define the fields that we are going to use inside that one to many line. So I will add a product id which is a one to many sorry many to one field many to one many to one field of core model with product dot product and i will give the string as product we will give the p as capital so we have added a new field of type many to one with core model product dot product and i will add one more field that is product quantity of type integer fields dot integer integer and string as quantity so inside that model i have added two fields that is product id and product quantity now we have to define a another many to one field that is i will explain the the need of it later so you can just add a new many to one field appointment id fields dot many to one with a core model as this model that is here we are going to add the one to many field so you can copy that field name that model name where you are going to add the one to many and you can give it like this appointment ideas i will just correct an interpretation not a typo appointment id equal to hospital dot appointment and string appointment id appointment id okay so what i have done is i have defined new model that is hospital dot appointment lines and given a description for the model and added a three fields inside that new model that is two for showing inside the view and one for the relation with the one to many line so here i will go to the top model uh, that is hospital dot appointment here i will define the one to many field so let me define the one to many line here so i'll give the appointment appointment lines so i'll give the name as appointment line fields dot 
one to many you have to give fuel stored one to many then inside this line you have to give which for to which model you are going to create the one to many so i have to copy this name that is hospital dot appointment lines okay I'll put it here so what i have done is appointments line equal to fuel stored one to many then the model name okay the model name is added then you have to copy this many to one field that is you, you can see here we have created a relationship with this model so you have to take this field name and put it here that is in a relation that is field stored one to many corresponding model name then the connecting field that's done then string you can give a string as per your need that i can i'll give the name as appointment appointment lines so what we have done is we have defined one to many field here in the model you have specified the new model name and the, this field is you have created a relationship with the hospital dot appointment model so this is all about what you have to done do in the python side so we will go to the corresponding view so if i go to the appointments you can see we are going to add new field that is new one to many field inside this doctor prescription page so if i take the corresponding code here that is you can see this is the notebook which you see that is this is the notebook and the for doctor prescription and pharmacy are the pages of the notebook so if you don't know how to add a uh, notebook you can check our previous video showing how to add notebooks and pages inside the form view so we have already a page here so that is doctor prescription and inside the field you have a field so for this purpose i will just remove that field and i will add field name equal to the name field we have created that is new field is appointment line so i will copy the name and i will put it here so normally we by defining the field we will close the field here itself so for the one to many field you cannot close it there itself so i will just enter and so i have defined the one to many field like this and inside this field we have to define the tree view that is you can see if i take the sale order we are getting a tree like view product description code or something like this we are getting a tree view that is so i have to define that tree view if i select a quotation i can see i can add more product that is yeah you can see you are getting a tree view here that is one to many tree view you are right now you have two records here so let's define the tree view that is tree given and then inside the tree view i have to define the fields inside the new model that is if i go to appointment.py this is the right now we are here so i will copy this name product id and i will put it here product id if i press control d and i will copy this field product quantity and i will add it here so i will again and control d and i will copy this appointment id so it's not necessary to add this in the view appointment id the relation field i will keep it as invisible invisible equal to one so that's all about adding the one to many field first of all you have to give field name equal to name of the one to many field don't forget to don't cross the field here and inside that field we will define the tree view of the one to many model that is hospital dot appointment dot lines and here we have product id and product quantity that is added here inside so what we are getting in the ui right now is you can see we are getting like this i have just removed the field name from the code this field is removed so once after the module is upgraded you will get a one to many line here so i have forgot to restart the service as we have made changes inside the python so i have restarted the service now i will go to the apps menu and i will update the module okay now i will update the module okay the module is upgrading so once after the upgrade upgradation of the module when we go to the appointment form view i think we will get an error that is we will get an access right error as we have created a new model and we haven't specified the security for that model so if i go to the hospital and then to the appointments and if i try to open this form we will get an error message that is you are not allowed to access this document please contact the system error so to fix this what you have to do is that you have to give the security so i have shown you already in a one of our video how to set the access right for the new newly creating the model so right now to solve this i'll just switch to super user mode so i'll just click on become super user 
okay so i have switched to super user mode and now if i go to hospital then to the appointments and if i open the appointments you can see the one to many fields has get added that is product and quantities here so if i click on this a form view will get opened but what we are getting inside here but here in the quotation we are able to type here itself not a form is getting opened so what happens here so if i click on add a line a form is popping up so how let's see how we can stop this so for this you have to give along with the tree you have to give editable equal to bottom editable equal to bottom so you have you can give like this editable equal to bottom so i will update the module for that change so i'll go to the apps menu and i will upgrade the module okay the module is getting upgraded so earlier when we click on add an add and line we are getting a wizard like pop-up but once after adding editable equal to bottom that pop-up won't come again it will be editable in the tree view itself so if i go to hospital appointments and if i open an existing appointment you can see if i click on add a line option you can see you are able to add the products here itself so we'll add product as one two like this you can add the quantities uh, rather than giving the name as product i'll change the name into medicine that will be more suit to our case string as medicine like a doctor entering the medicine for the patient so i'll just restart the service and if i refresh the screen refresh the screen okay it's loading hp 0 hp 0 1 0 which was the record we have edited you can see it's not getting i have to update the module itself for changing that string so i will just upgrade the module once again we have just changed this field string to product uh, to medicine from the product and also i uh, we can give it as a required field okay the module get upgraded so if i go to hospital then to the appointments and if i open the record you can see the name get updated uh, updated to medicine so if i click on this without a, right now it's not in edit mode if i click on this line you will get a form view let's see how we can define or how we can align this form view so right now you are getting three fields suppose we are on, we need only to get up medicine and quantity here that is uh, let's see how we can define the corresponding form view so for that you can go to the xml file and under the tree view that is i will just close this here you have defined the tree view then you have to define the corresponding form view also as we haven't defined the corresponding form view or is providing a default form view with the fields inside that model so right now we have three fields so once after i define the form view form view i can add inside the group groups and inside the groups not groups it's group just upgrade and i'll add the group tag again i'll do i'll add two group tag so that i will get the two fields in two lines so then i will copy this field that is product id and i will add it in the first group okay the water form is missing and copy this for the quantity and i will add it inside this group so what we have done is we have defined the corresponding form view of the one to many line so earlier we have only defined the tree view right now we have added the form view also now i will update the module so i will go to the i will go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i will upgrade the module hospital management update so this is the basic steps of adding a one to many line in odoo so once after the module is upgraded you can see the changes so when earlier when we are clicking on the line we are getting a pop-up there was three fields right now we have defined the form view now we will get only two fields in the pop-up so i will go to hospital appointments and if i click on so let me add some more records first medicine 
these two quantities and if I add more medicines and let it be three so I have saved it so once you save the record and if you click on on top of that you can see right now you are able to see only two records that is two fields that is from the form view that we have defined if the form view is not defined the view will come as uh, or give a normal view with the fields so this is all about how to add one to my line so i will just go through it once again so first of all what we have done is we have defined a new model that is hospital dot appointment lines and we have added the fields which has to come inside that model and i have added a new relation from this model to this model that is hospital dot appointment a many to one relation has been made and that field name is appointment id and inside this hospital dot appointment model i have defined a one to many field that is fields dot one to many and in the core model name i have given this model name and here you have to give it the many to one field that is this field technical name has to be given here and you can give a string then inside the xml i have first of all what i have done is i have added the field name equal to one to many field and inside that field i have defined tree view and inside the tree view i have added the fields inside that model and also define form view for that model so let me just show you one more thing so if i quit the super user mode i'll just log out and log in back that is for just come out of the super user mode i'll just log in again and right now earlier we are getting an error that is without activating the super user mode we are not able to access that appointment record that is we are getting an access right error so let's see how we can fix this so i will just copy this model that is we haven't specified any access rights for this model so i will go to the security file here and i will add the security that is appointment hospital underscore appointment lines access hospital dot appointment lines model is model hospital appointment lines so i have added a new access control list that is access access hospital you can give name as such uh, or you can give name anything sorry you can give any id comma you can give any name for that record and model id you have to specify the model id correctly model underscore model name is given then for the for the groups you have to give empty and you are provided 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 the access right like one 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 that is we are given all the read permission write permission and create permission and earning permission is given so i'll just restart the service uh, okay service is restarted so you can see right now when we try to open this record we are getting access right error so session expired okay let me restart the service as we have with this just restart the same page and just refresh the page also i will close this tab so i will log into the database again the session go has got expired okay login back and if i go to the appointments you can see you are getting access right error so we have given the access right but we haven't upgraded the module so from the apps menu i'll upgrade the module okay the module is getting upgraded so once after the module is upgraded we will not get the access right error as we have specified the access right for the newly created model in the code so the model get upgraded there is no errors as of now now i will go to hospital appointments and if i open the appointment you can see there is no errors so this is all about how to add uh, one to many lines in odoo if you have any queries you can comment it out or reach us over the mail our email id is odoomates at gmail.com please like and like our videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates thank you